Alright, oh, hello everybody, it's been a while since I've done a, a, any video, but I've, I've actually got something I want to do, so I'm going to prove that carbon in relation to biological made carbon causes a, a lot of health issues. So that's something I'm gonna have to do in a scientific method which I believe I can do off of secondary research however if, if it just isn't enough then there's uh, experiments that can be done which can help that point I mean none of none of which are on Obviously, animals, sight, just on, well, tissue basically. That's what, how you've got to start off. I mean, I mean, just to prove something, it's like, what is the cause of these things? Uh, I believe it's carbon. It's just a build up of carbon. Either it's too much of it or it's just trapped somewhere. It's like, there's just very it's just carbon I mean you have too much carbon in your lungs and it can be problematic for your lungs it can obviously be caught by the white blood cells and all the mucus and then become a cold and then flu and then pneumonia that's just carbon but from the research that I've looked into, like carbon is something that's just made from the body, at least with humans anyway. Like that's something that's already been proven. Like I don't need to go through any experiments to deal with that. Um, that's obviously significant by like lactic acid for uh, one thing there's also methane and just in general like you exhale breath that's carbon you take in oxygen and you exhale carbon but lactic acid is carbon based methane is carbon based I'm not sure the structure or the makeup of lactic acid, but it is a form of, it, it's a changed state of carbon dioxide. So like, it turned into something else. It's like, it might not be carbon dioxide and something else, but carbon and carbon dioxide are two different things. Either way, it's carbon, that's the point here, it's like... The purpose of this is to say that carbon causes health issues. I'm not going to go through all of the ones because I'm not entirely sure of every single health effect that it can be the cause of. I mean, a lot of them that it causes are primarily ones that there's no cure to yet they're mostly ones that are just being treated and it's like they're not necessarily being treated so to a point where your body just gets rid of it on its own it's just more of it's a painkiller thing you know what I mean I think dentistry can tie into this as well because a lot of uh, dental related evidence can prove this as well because uh, I think dental problems can be the early onset to other health issues it's like toothache for example that's the first sign of carbon buildup that 
is indicated by the fact that his tooth goes black. Uh, I went. I can't prove this yet, but I'll get the evidence. But most things with carbon in it tend to go black. Like carbon dioxide is is a it's a black gas, and well. The black tooth would seem to suggest that there's a carbon buildup there. Plus, if the nerve endings die, which does actually happen with a prolonged tooth issue or dental issue, that can be something that's ignored. And this is something that I'm not entirely sure is known to science yet, but something that I'm calling constricted jaw or constricted jaw basically the muscles in your face just constrict your jaw like literally constrict it like one effect that it has it can make your jaw like appear not as wide and I think that it's actually moving the jaw about like it's changing the shape of it so it's like making your mouth smaller basically there's just one thing this is just the opening to a much much deeper thing oh, i'm actually going to prove this like there's various things to talk about like uh Diphyodotes and polyphyodotes, uh, diphyodonts and polyphyodonts. So, anim ma specifically mammals that I'm going to be talking about, uh, which have, if you're a diphyodont, you have two sets of teeth in a lifetime, but if you're a polyphyodont, then you have many. And I think there's various controllable reasons for why this can be. And obviously I'm going to be comparing whether there's any like relations and health effects and stuff like that. But methane is a subject I'm going to talk about. That's one part carbon, four part hydrogen. But build up of carbon has been linked to things such as obesity, diabetes, and something else. I can't remember what it was, but IBS is one of the things that causes in relation to like an effect or just something but it seems relative to the fact that carbon is well bad for the body and causes health effects I mean that's just one part carbon I mean if you don't exhale it as CO2 then it's going to be worse and RBS would make sense because it's like the fastest way to extract it basically but yeah like and subscribe for more and share this around because this actually needs to be looked into because I, I think someone else could just prove it just like that but I'm going to take my time with it basically said most of the things I've not gone in depth with it but I'll I'll definitely go in depth with it anyway adios sayonara goodbye